Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk, and we're continuing our video series regarding the use of the Super Elevation View or Diagram to edit and make customizations to your Super Elevation. So in this second video, we're going to actually set the alignment up and calculate the Super and view the diagram. So to start with, we're going to pick the alignment. We're going to go to Alignment Properties. Okay, and notice here on the Design Criteria tab, we have no design speed at this time. So let's go ahead and set the design speed. In this case, we're going to do 70 miles an hour. That should get us close to what this super was originally calculated. We're going to use criteria based design, and I'm going to select the Imperial Roadway Standards, which this is the 2001 AASHTO standards. And then in my minimum radi radius table, our standard for this particular job is 8% Emax, super elevation maximum. So now that we're done with that step, with the alignment still selected, we're going to go to Super Elevation, Calculate, Edit. Okay, so you can see that we had run some scenarios and we had some Super Elevation already on here. So that's okay. If we run the Super Elevation Wizard, we have the ability to go entire alignment and overwrite what was there. So we're going to continue to recalc. No big deal. This is un, uh, Undivided Crown, pivoting about the baseline. So we'll hit Next. Normal width on these lanes is 12 foot at a minus 2% normal crown. So on shoulders, we're going to have 8 foot shoulders. The, this particular job is a rural area, so it's a minus 6% shoulder. And on the low side, we're going to do a breakover removal. So we're going to let the, the super elevation break over at a rate. And on the high side, we're going to set this to default slopes. And for our rollover, we're going to set a maximum of 8% shoulder rollover. So we're going to hit next. We're going to do two-thirds tangent, percent on tangent, and we're going to automatically resolve overlap. Finish. So here what we're doing is we're just throwing super on this to get it close because we know this design standard that was used back when this was calc. So this gets us close based on pure ash toe, pure linear tran transitions. Notice here if you're not familiar with the, the grid view here, we can make direct changes to slopes. If we know at what station we're at this slope, we're at full super, we can make these changes directly in this view. Now in this particular video series, just as a reminder, we're going to work in the diagram just to show the power of the super elevation diagram. For folks like me that really like to have that visual of how it's transitioning between, because it's nice to see the numbers, but sometimes in the grid view, you change a number and you're not sure what else changed downstream. So when you have the super elevation diagram, there's no mystery. The entire super is shown to you. So that completes the super elevation has been calculated for that alignment. So now I'm going to, with the alignment still selected, I'm going to go to create super elevation view. Pick our alignment. Uh, we're going to do the entire station range, even though we're, our job doesn't go the entire length. But I'm going to do red for the outside. Inside, we're going to do blue. Left outside shoulder, we're going to do a shade of red. Magenta, and then we'll do cyan for the right outside shoulder. Click OK, and we'll display that in the drawing. So here's our super elevation view. You can see our two curves. This is curve one area. This is curve two. And remember our if we hover it will remind us, but our red was our left outside lane, our dark blue was our right outside lane, then our left shoulder, outside shoulder, is in magenta, and then in cyan we have the right outside shoulder. And if you're not familiar with the super elevation view, how it reads, just a quick overview, this is cross slope and station. So at normal, this was at normal crown through this station range, at minus two, both the lanes were at minus two, both the shoulders were at minus six. This particular station, we're not worried about what station is right now. This particular station, the lane started to transition, so the left started to transition up. At this point, this is the zero slope line I'm hovering over here, the reference line. So we know this was an outside flat, or what they call zero. And then we removed, or we've got reverse super here, which means we have the opposite super. This side is a positive 2%, the side's a negative 2%, and that's the point at which the shoulder starts moving. So now the left shoulder 
which was minus six, is going to move all the way up to, you can see, almost zero. And the right shoulder, once it hits and matches slope, you can see once it locks these two uh, match, they're going to move together on the right side. Okay. So in the next few videos, we're going to talk about making visual edits here to change our super elevation manually.